All right, man, so here, here we are. For a lot of you guys who have been asking me for my Phoenix NX tune, aka the 180SX, I said I wanted to dial it in a little bit more before I dropped the tune. I feel pretty confident in it, and it shouldn't have that much of a change really at all, going from the version that we're on now to when PTR drops completely for PC and console. Now, this is what works for me. You can use it as a blueprint, you know what I'm saying? Change a few things for yourself. Or you could take it how it is. It's really up to you. I wouldn't go in the comment section telling me what's wrong because I feel like everybody has their preference on how they like to drift. So, all right, so this is my Phoenix right here. And I know y'all see the crazy livery. Shout out the Blossoming Queen for this. If y'all see my profile picture, this is my art right here. She literally made this shit in like an hour and a half. She's the goaded livery maker on cards. You know what I mean? Uh, I do have Kino. I swapped the SR20 in here. Okay. I'm on PC. I have Kino and I swapped the SR20. But the stock engine should work completely fine for this as long as you mess around with your gear ratio you should be fine copy everything i have here you should be okay right we got the suspension tab here you know what i mean y'all could pause it look at this if you want suspension lift is really has to do with clipping mostly my stiffness is kind of low on the front and the rear i didn't really mess with the dampers much i'm not too big on damper tuning yet the way i made this tune is that it feels good without even having to touch these things so we got the toe the camber Annie roll bars, caster, Ackerman, you know, max steering angle. I used to rock 10% Ackerman. Uh, essentially, the lower your Ackerman, the, the less likely it is for you to spin out, right? But at the same time, you're holding yourself back as a drifter. So just keep that in mind and try to find a happy medium. So wheels, I'm rocking 18s. I usually rock lower, uh, smaller rims, but you know what I mean? It is what it is. I feel like it looked nice on this car. You know what I'm saying? Just the way it looks. Tire width, 265s. Um, now, as you guys see by the title and the thumbnail, this is a 90 adhesion tune. I feel like this is one of the smoothest tunes for 90s. Like I said, preferably for me. It, it just all depends on how you are when you're drifting or what feels comfortable for you. But I'm putting this video out to give you guys a base and a blueprint. Uh, to see how you like it because a lot of people ask me so i said you know what i'm gonna just do it right i didn't you know front wheel track i could have popped it out all the way out here you know what i mean it's really up to preference when it comes to most of this stuff a good majority of this stuff can come down to preference you know like your wheel track and shit like that tire profile 30 percent tire width 265s front tire pressure you can go lower but i wouldn't drop below 100 so i'll probably max at 100 on the front maybe 115 on the rear if i was to go any lower uh, but that's just me engine i maxed everything out you know uh except for this turbo actually i'm one one off just less than 900 horsepower i don't know why i did that maybe i missed it but whatever it's been working so i'm gonna keep it that way i'm not gonna make too many changes you know what i'm saying now we get over to the transmission sequential no diff fully locked you always want to fully lock the diff don't pay attention to this final drive number here like i said because of the fact that i swapped my engine I changed my final drive here so my final drive here is at 3.05 but it won't make a difference if you change the final drive here i just have to change it in kino because i swapped the engine but if you don't swap the engine and you keep the stock engine which is basically an sr is probably a, you know what i'm saying you can just lower the final drive here to that same amount which is once again 3.05 now we go to my gears i start tuning gears from the last gear that's just me so I make the last gear as long as possible and I tune from that and I test drive. You're gonna be using mainly first through fourth. You're probably not gonna touch fifth, you're rarely gonna touch fourth. Maybe first through third, to be honest. Once you guys actually give the tune a try, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Now, I run really low brake torque for tandems because I tandem a lot. You don't want high brake torque when you're tandeming, you'll just lose too much speed. You wanna be able to hit your brakes enough to slow down but not fall off the line if you know what i mean my front brake bias is 68 percent just because when i hit the brake so if i'm at an angle let's 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 think about this as if we actually had pedals right so if i'm slamming the throttle on a corner and i'm at angle and i start to left foot brake while i'm still on the throttle right in this sense you're using controller you're pulling the right trigger and you start braking with the left trigger as well while still holding down the right trigger, slamming the gas. Your car will kind of kick out a little bit more angle so you can kind of adjust a little bit better or, you know, move out onto a wider line with this brake bias. So that's pretty much why I run 68%. That's just me. Like I said, everything is preference. Y'all can do what y'all want. Maybe just use this as a blueprint. ABS, no. Launch control, no. And that's basically the tune um if we go through body kits y'all can really customize the car how you want it 
I did this because I love seal ladies. I wish I could make this a narrow body seal lady, but unfortunately the only way to get this front end is if I throw the wide body kit on there, which it is what it is, you know? But yeah, uh, I don't really feel like the body kit has much effect on it. Maybe your wheel placement and stuff like that. But other than that, um, the tune is pretty much built around this kit anyway. So for you guys who just want to load it up through Kino and don't feel like copying all the settings down, it'll be in the Car X tune section of my Discord. So Discord link is in the description. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.